Okay, this video is going to address finding the first and second derivative for option B, y equals 3 times x squared times e to the x. Over here on a graph on Desmos, this blue graph is the graph of that function. The red dashed lines are the derivative. And you can see that g of x matches f prime of x. So this must be the answer for the derivative. Let's see how we do that. I like to do it like this when I've got a numerical coefficient out front. I think of it as 3 times this quantity. And here I'm going to use the product rule. So 3 times the derivative of x squared e to the x first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function e to the x times the derivative of the first. <clears throat> now you might notice that over here, I factored out an x e to the x. But when we get ready to do y double prime, uh, if I write it like this, I've got to employ, it gets very complicated. So I'm thinking of it like this, 3 e to the x times x squared plus 2x. <clears throat> and by the way, when does the first derivative equal 0? It equals 0 when this factor is equal to 0, which is when x is 0 or x is negative 2. And that's these points right here. When x is negative 2, there, the derivative is 0, and that actually gives us a relative maximum. And when x is 0, the derivative is 0. And we get a relative minimum when x is 0. So let's move on to y double prime. I rewrite it like this. And then I'll take 3 times the derivative of the inside. Again, employing the product rule. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And now I can factor out an e to the x and simplify 2x plus 2 plus x squared plus 2x gives me x squared plus 4x plus 2. There's your second derivative. That equals 0 when this factor equals 0, which I've done with, solved by the quadratic formula to get those answers. And those actually give me points of inflection, where the curve changes from concave up to concave down at that point of inflection, and then at this point of inflection, from concave down to concave up. Okay, and this black line is a tangent line. If you go to Desmos and visit this graph, you can slide this point to the right and see various instances of a tangent line. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment.